Hello and welcome to a video that will eventually be Epic Dumpster Bear, but first let me explain. So in a week or two, we're going to actually begin my next big Let's Play, which I kind of announced on Twitter, and you guys have probably been expecting it, but if you uh, weren't aware, it is going to be Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Finally, we'll be doing it 100%, doing all the bells and whistles and everything. But in the meantime, while I take some time to prepare for that, I decided to do some side content. So I went to Twitter and I asked you guys, uh, what should I do? I had the vote between Mighty Number no. 9 and Epic Dumpster Bear and with 640 votes it was exactly 50-50 50 percent on both sides so what i decided to do was to flip a coin and not just any coin i flipped a pokemon coin it was with a froakie on it and it landed on epic dumpster bear so that is what we're going to be playing uh it'll probably just be five videos just for the one week i think i'll be able to uh, i'll be ready to go for nuts and bolts next week if i need more time i'll play something else to fill the time but We'll figure that out when it happens, but one more thing. I'm sure you guys are wondering where the heck are the Game & Watch and the Game Watch Zelda videos? Those are still coming. Um, I basically was about to make the video for the Game & Watch and it turns out it had no batteries. Fantastic. So I had to order some online. They're now here, so hopefully I'll get those out this weekend. I'm not gonna let those videos go the way of the Dodo like the Mario World videos did, so don't worry about that. But anyways, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into Epic Dumpster Bear. I don't really know anything about this game. I was just looking at the eShop and I saw it and it looked right up my alley. Terrible graphics and it's like a 2D platformer which I love. I'm not sure if it's like a cutesy jump around and do stuff kind of platformer or if it's gonna be a trolley one. We're just gonna have to find out. I have not played it at all. This is totally blind but uh, well this is Epic Dumpster Bear. Let's go! And the funny thing is that we're about to play a game with a bear as one of the main characters, Banjo-Kazooie, and right at the start of the game is a dumpster, so we're gonna have an Epic Dumpster Bear in that game as well, but... Alright, it looks like there's 148 fish to collect, 3,500 targets, and some kind of cash system. Uh, as usual, we're gonna choose File 2 right here. I'm not sure if this is level-based or how exactly this works. Oh, crow, we got Story! An evil corporation destroyed his forest! Gosh dang, epic dumpster bear, let's go. This card is cinematic. Look at those graphics. Forcing him to eat dumpster food to survive. Oh my, it's so realistic. Now it's his turn to take out the trash. Could it be more intense? This is awesome, dude. All right, let's get this loading. I just wanted to see how the controls are. That's always the most important thing for a platformer. Oh, okay, well, it's going to be level-based, it looks like. Well, then, uh, let's just go to 1-1. One, one. It looks like there's three red circles, so probably three collectibles to find. Loading. Bears are intelligent. They figure out how to get entrance to containers, vehicles, and buildings that smell attractive to them. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, I guess bears do do that, crud. All right, the loading times are taking a little while, but not quite as long as Mighty Number no. 9, so that's good. And let's just hop around and get a feel for these controls here. Doesn't look like... Oh, there is a run button. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Why is there a cow? Can I eat it? Right, is the cow an enemy? Okay, we can bounce off of cows. And this is a lot more fast paced than I was expecting. Holy crud, dude. What is this junk, dude? Well, oh my gosh, we got alligators in barrels. That's what... I guess that's what you have to expect from Epic Dumpster Bear. Seagull's trying to take dumps on us. I'm just going to avoid the cows right here. This is like Sonic fast. This is like proper Sonic speed up in here. Let's go off that bouncer. Didn't actually work out so well. Can I bounce off the cow? Let me just say, if I'm a bear, this cow is gigantic. Well, let's just keep getting coins. And the controls are actually pretty good. It's very responsive and fast paced. I'm actually kind of digging this. I was expecting this to be awful. And let's be honest, the graphics are terrible, but oh gosh. Well, let's go back. I think the dumpster right there was a checkpoint. But yeah, the graphics are awful, but it's actually pretty fun just to jump around here. Let's see if we can get up there. Please land up there. Yeah, we got the first red coin. All right. Now, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is going to be like 100% epic dumpster bear or anything like that. But I'll try to get stuff as we go, at least. I don't know what those little things back here are. Springs, maybe? Okay, yep, that is some Sonic stuff. We can spring so fast. This game's even better than Sonic Episode 4. Not that that's particularly hard. Or, crud, Sonic 4 Episode 1. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the last coin, so we got all of them. Looks like we can take two hits. We got two hearts, so if I get hit at this point, I'm probably dead. And I don't know how many lives we have. This might not be a game that has lives. We might just have, uh, you know, infinite tries. Oh, let's land right in the middle. Oh my gosh, get in there, you crud. Oh, oh, the bullseye. All right. Okay, well, this is ridiculous, but I'm actually kind of impressed. That was not bad. Um, 
Okay, we got all the things. We got one fish as well, and we got a Miiverse stamp. I don't think I'm going to be making any Miiverse posts. Sorry, guys. But we got 100 targets there. Wow, there's a lot of stages here. I don't know what the coins are. I, this was not a free game, so I don't think there's going to be microtransactions. I'd be very surprised if they're like, pay more money to get more stages. I mean, I guess that would just be DLC, but yeah, it, it was... I don't remember how much it was. I don't think it was like a $2 game or anything. I think it was at least like 10 bucks. So this game better have some length to it because it definitely does not have much production value in terms of the uh, visuals here. The music is not bad, but it sounds kind of generic. They, I don't even know if it's originally composed or if they just kind of bought some Royalty Fury music. Uh, I guess we're going this way. We got signs. We got road signs on top of boxes. Now I want to know where the crud are we that has, oh my gosh, that has this many gosh dang shipping crates. I don't know, maybe a train station or something. Oh, bouncing off seagulls. I don't know why we're going to the left right now. This kind of goes against my uh, platforming instincts to always go right, but I do like going left, so if they're gonna let me, that's totally cool. What the crud? There's a gosh dang cow with a drone. What in the crud, dude? No, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Get that checkpoint. It looks like the checkpoint just healed me there as well, so if I'm ever in a situation where I need a little bit more health, I guess that'll do. Let's just keep going on the top paths. Bottom paths seem a little bit dangerous here. And I don't really see any reason not to go to the top paths. I can honestly say this game would... Wait, can we wall jump, dude? Uh, we can wall jump? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, looks like I've already missed two red coins. Well, crud. Like I said, this is uh, probably not going to be 100% or anything like that. But if I happen to spot the red coins, I'll go for them. But yeah, this would honestly be pretty, pretty fun to speedrun, I think. Because it's just so fast. I mean, not that anyone would really want to watch speedrun of Epic Dumpster Bear, but... I mean, if someone got really good at this game and they just went Sonic fast the whole time, that could be a good time. But alright, we got the salmon. We only got one red coin. I only got uh, 49 uh, monies, it looks like. So we'll probably just have to collect those monies during the stage and then use those to unlock the different courses. So we'll just have to find out how much they cost here. So we got 1-2 completed. We can go down to 1-3, and I think, I'm think i thinking this is going to split off into a bunch of different paths, so we'll figure this out here. I don't know how hard this is going to get. It's pretty friendly so far, but... It is World 1. Not just World 1, but it's the very early stages of World 1, so this could very well get quite difficult as we go here. Okay, once again, we just got a lot of cows and lots more shipping crates. And look at the texture in the background of those mountains. Oh my gosh. Well, of course, seagulls taking dumps everywhere. I don't know what it is with birds and pooping on things, but... Yeah, it's kind of a thing. We finally got a car like a month ago. Actually, probably closer to two months now. We've had it for a little while. And yep, they absolutely love pooping on stuff. So we've got the red coin down here. Can I go down? Oh gosh, don't poop on me, dude. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go back around and wall jump. Oh my gosh, the poop! It burns! Let's go back down. No, don't spring up, dude. Okay, let's go down. Would you please go down? Okay, let's just very carefully dodge the springs here. And then we're gonna have to wall jump just like that. I think I gotta get a little bit more height here. Uh, almost had it. Is there a spring down here we can use or anything like that? No, I think we just have to get a bit more height on this. So let me try again. There we go. We got it. And we got it. All right. So that's the first one. So we haven't missed anything for this first stage quite yet. So I'll try to get 100% on this one at least. Not sure if the red coins are just for fun or if they actually do help unlock things. Because the extra stages needed money. They didn't need red coin counts. So I don't know. Because I know like Donkey Kong uh, Country Tropical Freeze, for example, actually uses... Um, I think I have to bounce off the bird here. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Crud, I'm dead! It uses the Kong letters to unlock stages. Uh, retry Heart Plus. So we can spend money to have an extra heart. So if we're having some trouble, I guess we can do that just to give ourselves a little bit of uh, a little bit of help. But I'm just going to edit back to where we were, pretty much. Alright, I'm back at the spot where I died. I'm going to try to jump off this bird. I think that's what we have to do. The problem is I just don't want to get pooped on. So let's just hope he doesn't go too far. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's try this. No, we have to wait till the very last second, I think. Really not sure how this wor is going to work, but let's just... No, he's going to poop on me, dude. I'm so bad at this crud. Okay, dodge the poop there. Okay, let's try... No, I'm just going to jump right into him. So maybe I just kill the bird. I don't know if I even have to jump on him. This is so bad. Should I just skip the red coin? Okay, I'm going to try it for like a second here, but I might just... Oh my gosh, I might just end up skipping it. No, we got it. Okay, so we actually don't have to use the bird. As usual, I was overthinking things. Okay, let's, let's not get eaten by alligators. I need to get a little bit more speed. It's kind of weird. The running in this game starts up so fast. You accelerate very quickly. So the difference between just jumping and doing a very slight run and then jumping is actually pretty big. So run jump is definitely something I have to do quite a lot here. 
Uh, nothing over on this side, so I don't think I've missed the last red coin yet. There, we're getting a checkpoint, and we got a little heal out of that, which is fantastic. And we might be at the end here. Uh, is this... Okay, it's just some kind of dropping section. There's probably going to be the red coin at some point here. Uh, where are you, red coin? And I guess not. Landing in a pile of hay? I don't know what that is. Can I stand up, please? Please let me stand up. I have to mash the buttons, I think. Mashing! Mashing! And we're up. Okay. I don't know if I had to mash or what was going on right there. Uh, I'm going to try going up here to see if there's a red coin. Bounce off top of that. That did not work out so well. Let's try that one again. And we got it that time. And there it is. What the? Okay. What is that up there? Let me just get up here and get this real quick. But it looks like there's something more over here that we can check out. If I could actually get up there. All right. Let me try this again. So we'll get us got to bounce. And I almost had it. Come on. Get up there. Yes. No! Okay, let's try this again. There we go. That was not so bad. This might be... Okay, a secret exit. There you go. I don't know if I'm going to have to go back and get the normal exit now, but maybe that branching path, instead of splitting off when we finish off normally... Oops. Oh, crud. I just went back in. Whoopsie. Well, I guess I'm going to have to beat the normal exit anyway, so I might as well go ahead and do that. I'll just meet you guys back where that secret exit was. But as I was saying, I think it just splits off, so I think the... Uh, 1x stage. I think that's just from that secret exit there. I've died. Okay, so that's where the secret exit was. So from here, we're just going to go to the right and see if we can actually find the regular exit. So we know we've already gotten the red coins, so there's nothing to really look out for. I just need to keep jumping along and hopefully not get killed by cows and alligators and bird poop. Of course, the bird poop, dude. It's kind of kind of scary that the seagulls are like the size of a bear. I mean, I don't know what kind of bear I am, but... I don't think a seagull should be quite that big. There we go, we've beaten it normally as well. All right, so we've now unlocked 1-4. If we go down to 1-A, it looks like we have to spend 75 coins to unlock it, and over here we've got 1-X. So I'm gonna try out 1-A, but let's do 1-X first, because it sounds special. Bears use body language and vocalizations to show their intentions. All right, here we go. Looks kind of the same as the last stage, I'm gonna be honest, but I'm guessing, oh my gosh, they got lasers now, but I'm guessing that World 1 is just gonna happen to look like this. So let's just go up this way. Oh man, this is starting to get a little bit tricky. We need to use more wall jumps here. I practiced a little bit when I was replaying 1-3. Uh, I was doing a lot more wall jumps, so hopefully I'll be able to use those to my advantage here. Huh. Kind of looks like it almost splits off, but maybe not. Maybe it just goes back this way. See, like right here, I could probably just jump that, but I'm going to go around this way just to be safe. Wow. Could you not wall jump? I was just saying I practiced wall jumps, and now I'm messing them up. There we go. Let's see if I can bounce on the cow. Wow, that was a good cow bounce there. Uh, well, I might have been able to get up there, but I don't know. I still got to find out if I can actually drop down through some of these platforms. Not sure about that. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. No, please go up there. Uh, okay, we made it. I don't know why, but I just feel like over on this side is going to be where some kind of secret is. Oh, I tried to jump on top of him. Okay, I found a red coin, and I think I have to use this drone to get to it. So I'm going to try wall jumping right here. And, oh, I'm kind of messed up. Hold on. All right, I'm going to wait for this drone, and then I'm going to wall jump, and then... Uh, that doesn't actually work out that well, does it? Crud. Okay, let's try jumping from a little bit more distance here. Oh, I kind of worked, but my head bonked. Gosh dang it. Can I get it from this side? Oh, maybe I can just get it from this side. There I go again, always overthinking things. All right, I think it was over on the left right here that I was trying to get up to, so let's not get zapped by the drone this time. And there's some kind of bouncy thing over here. Oh, the red coin's over on that side. Wow, I was kind of hiding behind my coin count right there. Let's see if I can get back up. Oh, that's not going to work out so well. Come on. Oh, would you just let me up there? Come on. Oh. Okay, what if I just jump over on this side? That'll be a lot more simple. And there we go. We got the second red coin. So I might actually get 100% on 1x right here. I was kind of expecting 1x to be like a standout in terms of difficulty. I thought it'd be a lot harder, but it seems to be about the same. All right. I don't know how I'm going to get up here. I think I need to jump over this way and then jump back over here and then bounce on the left side of that. To get up this way. Yeah, okay, it actually worked out pretty well. So let's just not fall back down there. Awesome. And we get a checkpoint. Heck yeah. And do we have another drop section? Not really, but we do have cows. Oh gosh, the triple gators. Not the triple, dude. Uh, let's go back and get the coin. I'm going to want to get as much money as I can just so we have as much money as we need to unlock all the different stages. Because I'd like to do... Uh, I'd like to try to do all the stages or just die. But it's okay, we've got checkpoints, dude. All right, let's try that again. Let's just keep going down this way. Lots of the same enemies here, but they are kind of advancing it just a little bit. So before we had cows holding drones, and then this stage kind of introduced the drones just shooting laser beams. But uh, we got the third red coin there, so we're probably pretty close to the end. 
it's kind of at that point where I don't have to really look out for anything. I can just keep going, grab money as we do, and grab a salmon. Okay, bonus level clear. There's not even like a target to land on on this one, but that's fine. All right, let's go down and buy one A and see how that goes. So we drop in 75 coins, which I still have 116 left, so we can at least buy one B. And I guess we'll, we'll start. This area is attractive to bears for its abundant natural foods and attractive travel routes. This bonus level uses the Wii U gamepad touchscreen. Tap a button on the touchscreen to dismiss this message. Small problem, um, my, I was not using my touch, uh, gamepad, but I'm gonna go back over to the gamepad, and it looks like there's four buttons. You guys can't really see it, but on the bottom is four buttons. It's a giant green, blue, red, and yellow button. So I'm guessing that we have to hit the corresponding color to make these platforms move. So I press the blue button, and it's gonna make this go up and go back down. So I guess that's how this one's going to work. So let's get this blue, uh, green one out of the way. Can I put the blue up? Uh, looks like that's gonna work, so we can go right on under, just like that. Let's bring this green one down here. I'm gonna try not to crush myself. I'm going to assume that crushing myself would probably get me killed here. Uh, can we use this yellow one to get up there? I think if I put the yellow one down, get on top of it, and then put it back up like that, we should be able to run and jump across, and it looks like we can, so... <coughs> oh gosh, don't want to choke here. But there's the first red coin. Uh... Okay, we've got Mr. Blue, dude. Let's go ahead and put him down. I kind of like this. It's, again, this game looks like absolute garbage, but there's some interesting mechanics to it. I kind of like it. That is not moving to the side very well. What if we move him up? Can we now move this way? We can, but why would I want to is the real question there. Maybe just to get the green one out of the way so we can put the red one up. Okay, it looks like that was the answer. Kind of simple. It's very simple little platforming puzzles, but... I'm sure as we get into more uh, further worlds, this stuff will probably start to get a lot more complicated. Let's bring that one back out. Uh, can we move the red one out here? I think I want to go all the way around and go down to get the red coin here. And it looks like that's going to work out just fine. Uh, can I get back out? Uh, maybe if I'm very careful. Yes, okay, we're back out. Doing pretty good. Two red coins once again. I've been getting most of the red coins for most of these stages, but of course I missed it for, what was it? I don't know, one of the stages I didn't get them all. So at this point, I kind of feel like I should go back and get them since I'm doing so good everywhere else. Now let's put the red back up, I guess. And then put the green down and put green back up. Okay, we're figuring this out. Not too complicated again. And there's going to be the salmon, but I missed a red coin, I guess. So, whoops. Well, alrighty, guys. I just played five levels of Epic Dumpster Bear. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, the game looks like absolute garbage, but it's actually surprisingly fun to play. So I'm kind of excited to see what we'll find next time. We'll definitely come back tomorrow and finish out some more levels. I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish World 1 uh, in that time, but we'll see. I'll just see you guys tomorrow. We'll find out what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.